Hey guys, so I am at work. You already know, but I've been getting a lot of questions on how I do my inventory. Um, I guess a lot of like beginner techs like kind of struggle with that, and I'm gonna show you guys how I do my inventory. Like, it's really not that hard, but um, I feel like if you don't know what you're doing, um, then it might be hard. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I do. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna need to do I'm gonna need to do two types of inventory. So um, one because I sell last trays. If you guys don't know, purchase some last trays. But I sell last trays. Um, and I ooh. so I sell last trays, and then I also have trays that I um, I use on my clients. Um, they're the same trays. They just don't have my which They just don't have my. Um, my card on it like i'm gonna show you for example so for example the trays that i sell to my like people who buy my trays they look like this they have my name they have my brand name as well as the trays name so this is what the trays look like and then the ones i use on my clients um they look like this as you can see it's a blank card and i mainly just do this for cost efficient because these trays are obviously going to cost more than these trays because it has my whole brand name and everything so that's that's just that so i want to do the trays that i sell first i'm going to count the inventory for that and just get that set up so i do use my ipad to do this i just have this file i made this on canva and it just says an inventory log and i'm just going to go ahead and fill it out it also has the description um quantity and restock and restock is what it's going to be like and restock is going to be what I order and quantity is going to be what I have and then the description is going to be I'm going to write down either am I writing down for like my trays which is um, called onyx trays or I'm just going to write regular blank card which is what I'm going to use so here comes the difficulties where I feel like some people are struggling with I feel like because you don't know like what you should order like if you're buying trays for yourself to use on your clients you need to ask yourself um, these type of questions one is what kind of lash stick are you like are you a lash stick that does long sets or um, short sets medium sets and then you need to also ask yourself when you're doing your clients like what trays are you always getting rid of and that's number one of those trays you need to restock so for example for me I mainly kind of do like I want to say medium to long sets so I'm always gonna have so I'm always gonna make sure I order a lot of of like like 16 trays 18 trays 20s and 22s i use 22s for spikes and then what i mean by a lot of kind of depends on you for example again this is another question you want to ask for yourself is how many clients are you seeing per day that you need to have trays let's say for example um every day you only have like two clients a day and you're using 14s so what my maximum like what my large order is not going to be the same as what your large order is for example like if you're only doing two clients a day right and you're always doing like like short sets so like you need like 10s 12s and 14s you do 10s in the inner corners you do 12s in the in the middle and you do 14s in the outer corner what i would suggest doing is don't one you don't really need to buy a lot of 10s because that's like i said you're only really using 10s in the inner corner so you're probably like only using a strip every week or every two weeks you're probably only using a strip every week or every like four days so you don't need to have a lot of like 10 millimeters because you use like 12s and 14s those are the kind of trays you want to purchase more of because for you're going to use 12s and 14s and you're going to use a lot of like strips for like the um the outer and the middle corner and from the middle to the outer corners you're going to use a lot of strips for that and what i mean by strips is like one strip of this you're going to be going through a lot so like 12s and 14s is what you need to order a lot of for example like me because i'm always doing like medium sets so i already know for myself i need to order a lot of 16s and i need to order a lot of 18s i hope that makes sense for you guys because i really want you guys to just understand like it's really not that it's it's really not as difficult as you may think it is you just need to order like what, you, what you're using in your middle slash auto corners is what you need to get is what you need to buy a lot of especially if you're always a lash tech that does a certain type of set so yeah i hope that makes sense i'm gonna go ahead and like i said count my my onyx trays first and then go ahead and um 
order some of that because I want to go ahead and do my big order today because it's the new year I want to have everything ready and set and yeah I just want to get ready for like making this new year great and what I need for that is um having trays in stock so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that Z. I just finished my client. I didn't film her because I figured tomorrow I'm gonna start doing like my whole um, lash tech vlog. And I know you guys miss me, so yeah, we're just gonna start the vlog off here. Okay. Um. So yeah, I'm at work right now. I just finished my client. <clears throat> I already said that, but um, I think I wanna. I got my lashes done yesterday, but I think I wanna add bottom lashes on myself. So I think I'm about to do that right now because I think like the look would just give bottom lashes you know what i mean yeah like i don't yeah i haven't had bottom lashes in so long and i kind of miss them so i'm about to do bottom lashes on myself right now so you guys can watch me do that and then tomorrow i'm a vlog and i'm also getting my supplies this week so i'll be showing you guys that as well so i'm gonna plop you guys right here here and you guys can watch me do my bottoms it's gonna be my first time doing it but i'm like hey I don't think it's gonna be that bad, so yeah, let's see how it is. Oh, you are like a 
this is them. I'm gonna do the other eye. It honestly wasn't bad at all. Like the burning, it doesn't burn at all. Like just a little bit, but nothing crazy. But yeah, this is my first time doing bombs on myself. And I don't know, I think I like it. But maybe I could have like gotten, like went a little bit shorter, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the other eye. I don't know if my battery is gonna be dead by the time I'm done. So, yeah. But this is them. Not too bad. Not too bad. I definitely could have went shorter. These are eight millimeters. I definitely could have went did a point did a five millimeter, but I'm not doing all that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do it the other eye. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Yami D here. I um, got my hair done this morning and it looks really, really good because I am going out tonight. I have clients today, so I'm about to, um, I have clients later on today, so I'm about to go ahead and probably just get something to eat and then um, I'm gonna head to work. So I'll show you guys once I get to work. But yeah, my hair eats, but it always do. I just love the side part, like, yeah oh and i also did my bottom lashes so i'm probably just gonna add that clip of you guys um so you guys can see i did my own bottom lashes but yeah i freaking love my hair like i look done done up it's giving it's giving but yeah so yeah let me go ahead go ahead and get something to eat real quick before i head to work so i will see you guys later hey you guys so i am back home um i'm just gonna talk to you guys well this is gonna be at the end of the end of the vlog but i want to talk to you guys real quick it's like i honestly just need to like get better back on youtube i don't i feel like i haven't filmed a youtube like like purposely like filmed a youtube video in like three months i want to say like i feel like the last video so november i think like no october was actually the last time i actually like was consistent on youtube so yeah, I've been like losing my little touch. Like I used to be really well. I I was consistent and like towards like the end of the year, and then after that, I just like started to like burn out. So yeah, I really need to like just get on my shit and just like literally start filming more. I don't know. I just been like really really distracted, and also I was like working on things for my business and all that stuff. So yeah, I just need to like this year. I need to be more organized and like literally plan out um, my content for everything. You know, you gotta create content for YouTube, you gotta create content for Instagram, TikTok. It can be a lot, but, like, I really need to, like, um, be more organized so I can upload more videos for you guys. Because that's something I really, really want to do for you guys, especially this year. Like, because, you know, I just reached 5,000 subscribers. And, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for that as well. So, yeah. February. Like, like so, we're just going to say, like, January was a trial. So, February, I am going a full force. I'm going to try to actually release two videos. I'm, I'm going to be honest with myself. I'm going to try to release, like, two videos a week. Like, I'll do, like, a vlog-style video. And then um, I'll also throw in, like, an educational video so you guys can learn from me. And, yeah, so that's pretty much what I want to do. So, yeah, comment down below what kind of, like, what kind of, like, things you want to learn about Lash Techs about being a lash tech whether it's like ice like tips on isolation tips on like better retention or like just um tips what kind of what kind of um what kind of things you guys want like a more detailed video on i can definitely from that for you guys so yeah make sure you guys are following me on instagram so yeah, make sure you guys are following my business page on Instagram, Lash by Yami, as well as my personal page, yami.d. And follow me on TikTok. Yeah, and that will be, and that is the end of the video. So, yeah, January took a toll on me. Like, I need to get back on my shit. So, I'm going to edit this video um, tomorrow morning and have this video posted for you guys. And it's, it's definitely going to be all over the place. I know for a fact. But I will see you guys next week. I'm going to be consistent. I promise you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys next week. And thank you guys so much for watching this all over the place vlog. And I will see you guys later. Bye.